Step number one at going viral every single time that you post on Instagram is making sure that you're not using banned hashtags because I bet that you might be using hashtags right now that are banned and it could be the thing that's destroying your views or maybe you're posting content that's the wrong length, you're not using Instagram's features that they're currently pushing out right now because this creator was doing that and then they stopped and then they gain over 800,000 followers and the same thing happened to this creator except they gain over 1.2 million followers. Or you could still be saying link in bio within your posts, which by the way is killing your reach in 2024. But before we could dive into all these things, I need you to smash that subscribe button. You're gonna go quick on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free Instagram growth course. You could get the pinned comment below for free. It's going to tell you exactly how the algorithm works, the best time to post, the best hashtags to use, and so much more. Did I mention it's 100% free? So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and register right now. Now, when it comes to banned hashtags on Instagram, if you go to this website right here, it will tell you whether or not the hashtags that you're using are banned, and they have two other features that are really, really great. The first one is that you can actually figure out what hashtags your competitors are using so that you can see how which hashtags are using that are different so that you can increase the amount of views that you're getting so that you can go viral like them too. And then secondly, they have a really, really cool feature where you can actually type in a hashtag to find similar hashtags and guess what? They're even gonna tell you exactly what the engagement is under those hashtags. You could determine for yourself whether or not it's a good or a bad hashtag to use based off of the average or minimum amount of engagement that people are getting that use those hashtags. But just using the right hashtags isn't enough because if you really wanna go viral right now, you need to be creating content in one of the four formats that Instagram is actually pushing out. The first format that Instagram is pushing like crazy right now are going to be memes. You need to understand something. If you can find a popular meme on Instagram, you could see what sound people are using and what format people are using. And all you have to do is make that relatable for people within your niche and it is going to skyrocket the amount of engagement that you're getting. And there's a really important reason behind this. And the reason is because Instagram is prioritizing content that's being shared right now. So essentially, likes don't matter, comments matter less than they used to, even saving a post doesn't matter anymore. Instead, what matters is when people are sharing your content and two other metrics I'm gonna share with you towards the end of this video. But when it comes to shares, you need to understand something. People share memes on Instagram. Even people that don't engage with content on Instagram share memes on Instagram, either to their group chat or just to their friends within the DMs. This gets people to come back to Instagram and Instagram loves this. So if you're able to get a lot of shares on your post because you're posting memes, you're gonna go viral a lot more frequently. Or you need to use one of these other three formats that Instagram is pushing like crazy right now. The next one is going to be a meme plus video in a carousel format or an infographic plus video in a carousel format. And essentially why this is going to work is because one, it shows up within the feed a lot and two, it shows up within the explore feed. Those two placements are going to be a little bit different than just showing on the reels feed. So this is another placement in which you need to be creating content because it's going to skyrocket the amount of reach that you're getting, especially if you could put a really good meme or a really good infographic. And essentially what I would do here is try to find things like clips of popular people within your niche saying things, and then you can make a clickbait infographic around that and boom, this is gonna increase the amount of reach that you're getting right now on Instagram. Now the two next posts that are getting pushed right now on Instagram like crazy are going to be reels, but it's going to be very specific what kind of reel you should be creating based off of the length of that reel. So the first type are gonna be really short reels that are five seconds long. And there are two formats at work here. The first format is when you have a hook on the screen and then in the last two seconds, you tell them to go to the caption and you have a really great caption that is spaced out appropriately, that has emojis in it, that has a really good hook and you get people to read that caption for longer than the video is and the video is looping in the background, which skyrockets the odds of you actually going viral. Or the other type of short reel that works is if you have a bunch of text on the screen and something interesting going on in the background and then guess what ends up happening? The same thing, they try to read that text, they get one half of the way through it or two thirds of the way through it and boom, that video looped because it's five seconds long and then guess what ends up happening? The same thing that just happened when you were doing a different type of video telling people to go to the caption, the video is looping in the background, you're getting replays, which is one of the new metrics tricks that Instagram just released and boom, this is gonna increase the odds that you go viral on Instagram. Now the other type of reel that is growing like crazy right now are going to be long form reels, but you need to understand something. This might not be for your niche. You're actually gonna have to go through and do the research to see whether or not people are creating content like this. And I don't want you to just look at big content creators because that's a massive mistake. Instead, you need to be looking at what is actually working for small accounts within your niche. If they're posting long form content, I would try doing that also, but you need to remember these two things. First, that the first 
three seconds and the hook that you use is gonna be by far the most important thing. And secondly, you need to change what's going on every three to four seconds. You need to have sound effects, you need to have green screen features showing up, you need to be changing your background, you need to be changing your clips, because if you're not doing these things, it's going to significantly impact the amount of time that people spend watching that piece of content. And then guess what? If you can't get people to stay watching a long form piece of content, Instagram isn't going to push out your content, which is why those first three formats that I recommend are by far the easiest for you to do right now to go viral. Now I do have some bad news for you. Everything that I've mentioned in this video so far is nowhere near as important as the next two things I'm about to share with you. In fact, Instagram CEO literally just put on his Instagram story that these next two things are by far the most important. The first one is that you need to understand whether or not people are actually interested in the content you're creating. And there are two things that can affect this. The first one is gonna be seasonality and the second is going to be just trends and popularity. For example, if you're creating content about Web3, you're gonna get way less views than you got two years ago. If you're creating content about AI, you're gonna get way more views than you got two years ago. And the reason for this is because those things are just generally growing in popularity. And you need to understand this. I'm not saying that you should get out of a niche that's not popular, but what I am saying is that you should only be comparing yourself to people within your niche. Because if you're comparing yourself to somebody outside of your niche, like seeing what Mr. Beast is doing, well, guess what? You're not going to get the same views as him because you're going after a totally different audience than him. So you can't expect to get the same amount of views as him. A lot of you also do this with your friends. Maybe your friend is a fitness influencer or they post cooking content or they post about anything. You need to understand that the amount of people that are actually interested in the type of content you're gonna be posting is going to drastically affect how many views that you get. Another great example of this is real estate. Real estate is nowhere near as popular right now as it was two years ago. Again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be posting in real estate. I'm just saying that you need to understand that these things are cyclical. Like Bitcoin is gonna get really popular again because 2024 is going to be the best year for crypto and the best year for Bitcoin that we've seen in a few years because all these new ETFs are coming out. But again, that isn't to say that Bitcoin content was a waste of time for the last 12 months. It's simply saying that you need to pare back your expectations and say, hey, I'm not gonna get as many views because this isn't as popular right now, but when it does increase in popularity again, I'm gonna get way more views. Now this brings me to the final and most important thing. If you wanna be going viral on Instagram right now, you need to be hitting the two metrics that Instagram has just shared with us and they just came out with these things. The first one are gonna be replays, AKA the amount of people that replay your content. If you can increase the amount of replays that you get, you're gonna go viral more often. And the second thing is your audience retention graph. Instagram has finally given us audience retention graphs for reels. What you need to make sure that you're doing is that you're not experiencing drop off anywhere. In fact, one of the biggest hacks that you could do right now on Instagram is literally create the same exact post again, literally the same content, but I want you to get rid of any area where you saw a drop off. So if you saw it in the beginning, change the hook of the piece of content. If you saw it in the middle, you need to add more breaks into the content. If you saw it at the end, it means that people thought that the video should have ended earlier. So maybe just try getting rid of that part and it's going to increase the odds that you actually end up going viral on Instagram in 2024. Since you're so serious about growing on Instagram and you understand how big of an opportunity it is in 2024 and you're finally ready to take advantage of it because you've been sitting on the sidelines for so long? Well, guess what? I wanna personally help you grow on Instagram. In fact, I wanna look at your account and tell you exactly what I would do differently to grow in your specific niche. I'm talking about what you should be posting, what hashtags you should be using, even what time you should be posting. If that sounds interesting to you, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on Instagram and this organic reach we're currently seeing are not gonna last forever. And there are two things holding you back from seeing the growth like the creators that I share with you in this video. The first one is that you haven't implemented the tips that I just shared with you. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my Instagram mentorship program yet. That's literally gonna guarantee that I help you get more followers on Instagram in the next 30 days or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 25,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than a thousand followers if they implement to every piece of advice that I share with them. Now, since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume you're probably above average. So the odds of you gaining over 25,000 followers are probably quite high. And if you want results like that, go to the link in the description below right now and sign up because there are limited spots available. I'm gonna be telling you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use. I'm gonna send you new post ideas and I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you get more growth on Instagram in the next 30 days. It doesn't matter what your niche is or what your background is, this program is gonna help you get followers more easily and quicker so that you don't have 
have to spend endless hours trying to figure out the things that I already know about exactly how to grow your account. In fact, I just helped this creator in the program and they gained over 100,000 followers in just 30 days. I helped this creator, they gained over 150,000 and this creator, over 200,000 followers. If you want results like that and I want you to be my next success story, go to the link in the description below and sign up right now because every single day that you wait, it's only gonna get harder to grow on Instagram. It is easier than ever to grow right now, but you need to take advantage of this opportunity. And what's better than an opportunity where you're literally gonna grow on Instagram or get your money back because zero questions asked. Again, there are limited spots, so go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Otherwise, I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.